All right guys, welcome to the creative portion of this tutorial. I'm gonna be walking you through qualifiers and windows and tracking and show you how you can make localized adjustments to specific colors. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead to the select tab and add a LUT. What most people do actually is most people will actually skip the primaries uh, portion of this video, slap on a LUT and then just dial it in. And as you can see, that is not a good looking image. So what I tend to do is I'll set my primaries, add in a lot, and I'll actually slowly bring this in to add a little bit of creative color, but nothing overpowering. Once I have a general base for my image, I will then go ahead and start fine tuning certain colors. So as you can see, I have orange, teal, because those are the two main colors I tend to adjust and I leave this blank for whatever I want to do later. So let's jump into teal. Now, cool way to make creative adjustments to specific colors is this qualifier window. Window. So if you select a color here, select Shift H, you'll see everything that's grayed out is kind of like keyed out and not selected. And everything that's visible is the colors you're gonna make adjustments to. So. If you want to refine this mask a little bit more, you could drag this width down and then make some more adjustments. So I'm going to bring this luminescence up until it gets rid of the dots on her shirt and background. And once I find a good level, I'm going to go to blur radius down here and put it to 20 to soften up the edges. And then hit shift H again. I want to change this to look more blue. So I'm going to go into the hue section here and just change it until I find a good color of blue that matches your skin tone. So right about there. And if we turn this off and on, you can see how big of a difference I made in the image. Uh, now, if I want to make any other creative adjustments, I could do the same things with these windows. So I could come in here, uh, zoom in, make adjustments to the lips. As you can see, we can't get a perfect selection of just that area. So what we can do is we could go into a power window and we could just draw a mask around this area. Then we could feather this out a little bit to soften the edges and track this forwards and backwards. Now if we come back here and select Shift H again, you can see we just isolated that area. So, when we come back here and add in some saturation to make this pop, I kind of like this a little bit lower. I'll change the color to right about here. And I'm happy with that. All right, now if we wanna take this one step further and adjust our eyes, what we could do is, let me just add another uh, parallel node here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually select this power window, zoom in to her eyes, and now just draw in a mask. You could do this manually, you could select the circle mask, but we're gonna go ahead, select this, make an isolation, and kind of soften it out. Um, and go ahead, use the qualifier, select the color, shift to H, see our selection here and just make some fine tune adjustments until we find something we're happy with. Uh, perfect, so that is something I am happy with. So let's go ahead and select Shift H, uh, blur radius about 15, and track this forwards and backwards. And now you can see when the eye closes here, um, there's gonna be some tracking and it's gonna look kind of weird. So what we could do here is, one, we could go into the keyframe section here, look for the number seven and select seven, set a keyframe. And all we have to do is make just one tiny adjustment to this. So let's just turn the blur radius to like 15, perfect. So what happens here is whenever we make any adjustment throughout the timeline, it's gonna set a keyframe. So I am going to make uh, set the key output to zero and then I'm just going to go right until her eyes open and I'm going to change this all the way back to one. And now any adjustments I make, so let's say I want to raise the gamma, 
increase the contrast up a little bit and make your eye pop a little bit more. Now when your eye closes, it's only gonna affect the eye. So once I have that set, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to this node, copy, go down to the node below it, paste, and then I'm just gonna zoom in here and move this over to the other eye. And then we just have to get some new tracking data. Perfect. And as you can see, right before her eyes close, it doesn't affect it, but it affects it right there. So we can make individual adjustments. So we can come back here, move this over right about there. Um, and then also change this to one. And the same thing for the other eye as well. Move this over, change this to one. Go back here. And change this key to one. Now, every time her eyes close and open, it'll only affect her eyes and not like the browns in her eyelids. So let's go ahead and zoom back out and play this through and turn all of the things we did on and off. As you can see, we made a huge difference into this uh, image just by using power grades and windows and uh, even the magic mask feature.